According to newly declassified intelligence, over 20,000 Russian soldiers have been killed in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine since December, with a further 80,000 wounded. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby announced these figures, indicating that half of the dead were from the Wagner mercenary company who had been attacking the eastern Bakhmut city. Russia has been attempting to take Bakhmut for some time, with Moscow currently holding most of the city. However, Ukrainian troops still control a small portion of the city in the west. The battle for Bakhmut has taken on symbolic importance for both sides, with Ukrainian officials stating that they are using the battle to wear down Russia's reserves and kill as many of their troops as possible. Kirby told reporters that Russia's attempt at an offensive in the Donbass region largely through Bakhmut has failed and that Russia has been unable to seize any real strategic and significant territory. U.S. intelligence estimates that Russia has suffered over 100,000 casualties, with more than 20,000 killed in action. However, Kirby refused to provide estimates of Ukrainian casualties, stating that they are the victims here. Russia is the aggressor. Analysts have pointed out that while Bakhmut has little strategic value, it has become a focal point for Russian commanders who have struggled to deliver positive news to the Kremlin. The Wagner mercenary group has taken center stage in the Russian assault on Bakhmut. Its leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, has staked his reputation and that of his private army on seizing the city. Prigozhin recently threatened to pull his troops out of Bakhmut if they were not provided with much-needed ammunition by the Russian Defense Ministry. He has often clashed with the Russian Defense Ministry during the conflict, accusing officials of not providing enough support to his fighters. In a rare in-depth interview to a prominent Russian war blogger, Prigozhin called upon the Russian media and military leadership to stop lying to the Russian population ahead of an expected Ukrainian spring counteroffensive. He praised the Ukrainian military's good, correct military operations and command. Despite taking heavy losses, new Russian units, including paratroopers and fighters from Wagner, are being constantly thrown into battle, according to Gen Oleksandr Sersky, the commander of Ukraine's ground forces. He added that the enemy is unable to take control of the city, but the situation remains difficult. While the BBC is unable to independently verify the figures given by Kirby, these estimates demonstrate the scale of the ongoing conflict and the human cost of the war in Ukraine.